Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Reviews, and we are back with another video. In this video, we here we have Windows 10 Mobile Build 10536.1004. So it's a long, long update. As you can see, you have to actually install three upda updates uh, while installing this. Uh, 10514, 10536.1000, and the last one, 10536.1004. For the Windows 10 uh, people who are on the preview build of Windows 10, if you are on Windows Phone 8.1, you can directly install the latest build and you're good to go. So if you're on Windows Phone 8, you would actually take around half an hour or 45 minutes depending upon your connection speed and storage available. But if you are on Windows 10 and you have 8 GB of storage uh, as an inbuilt storage, you have to free out some memory as you cannot even... Uh, delete much of the memory because all of the all of those memory is taken by the operating system files so much of the, uh, you will find that uh, sometime it get cancelled the update gets cancelled so don't worry just uh, try to uh, as much as storage you can free out from here so it would take around one one to two hours if you are on windows 10 and updating to this build so Looking onto this build, it's quite smooth, so it's uh, fixed the time. Uh, in earlier build, there was a lag. It was actually a late. The time was uh, shown late uh, after the uh, after you press the log button. Now, also the quiet hours has been fixed. It's disabled currently because we aren't running Cortana here, and also all of those uh, status are fixed. Still one starter remain is the context menu. If you long press anything, you can see here. The starter is quite uh, big and you can feel uh, feel those um, late in the animation or uh, bug or lag in the animation. Rest all is quite fast. One thing I noticed is the messaging app is absent here. You now have messaging Skype preview app as your a basic messaging app so uh, it's actually the same messaging with skype uh, skype integrated with it next is the store it's quite fast now it opens uh, quickly as compared to the earlier build uh, in earlier build it was very slow and very buggy it would take a lot of time to open but now it's uh, it's fixed and it's quite good if you use uh, this phone in the landscape you can actually feel uh, see different user interface all those um, the hamburger menu is gone and all the menu or the options are on the top of the screen and the search bar is bigger enough to get you search anything and again in the portrait mode it uh, takes its own basic uh, thing which is the main uh, hamburger style icons and all all those things and next is the photos app it's actually an update after the after your phone gets updated you need to update the photos app so you, earlier you have uh, the collections albums just two and as the update came it it's the pivot pivot menu which was in windows 10 uh, windows phone 8.1 so the new addition here is the folders which uh, fo uh, which folders are on your phone like pictures in the phone memory and pictures in the uh, removable disk or your memory card and also your OneDrive folder is here present here so in the pictures you all all your images is shown whatever your folders is camera roll hike hyperlapse sample pictures saved screenshot all of all of those apps which you are using and it stores some pictures so it's quite good the update uh, is now smooth also in the photos app it's now quite uh, what to say lag free or smooth and also a new context menu has been added in the in this update you can see again a starter here a menu uh, menu has been reduced as here is set as now it's minimized you all this three menus is uh, minimized in one and it's quite it saves a lot of space and uh, actually sort things out and cleans all of those things and it's quite good and in the next i found in the battery saver 
it's quite good change now the battery saver is uh, has now more settings uh, under battery use so let's just uh, it takes some time to load here uh, all those um, earlier type uh, menu of the battery uh, which which apps use how much percent battery here you can see different apps different percent so here is the change background app settings in which uh, you can actually select which app should run in the background and which app should not uh, it actually gives you more freedom more customization for example if i have six tag uh, running in the background on i can set it off black for facebook i can turn it on off whatever whatever i i need to do and this app if i turn uh, turn it off it won't be running in the background and saving your battery it's saving you uh, much uh, processing uh, speed or saving you a memory because it won't be taking any ram it won't be running so quite a good update here too one thing i noticed as the battery settings have been upgraded the battery backup is quite uh, low now it, it's not up to the mark as you can see the battery is going really fast but all in all you can use it as a, a daily driver it's nothing much of a lag earlier for example opening the my app free it directly loads the screen earlier it was just loading screen and this loading screen is almost gone i haven't seen uh, it from yesterday uh, since i have updated the phone and hard reset uh, just once for a better uh, better stability and better performance i haven't seen those loading screens again and it's quite good the apps open directly no loading screen it uh, is actually a good update and last update a major thing is in the earlier builds uh, microsoft introduced one handed mode for those uh, screens above 5 inches so they actually got a great feedback on that and people actually uh, requested uh, to allow them on the screens less than the 5 inches so here you just need to press the home button and you can see the screen is turned on the half and you can actually quite good for example if you are in the weather app it it has the home uh, hamburger menu and you want uh, it to be same if uh, you want to reach uh, actually you have to use another hand or something so i haven't i uh, made it yet let's just go it's loaded now as you press the screen you can get yeah get all of your uh, uh, menus again the screen is uh, panned into the half and you can easily uh, you can easily reach reach out as it's harder uh, year to go but the 100 more uh, mode makes it easy to reach and it's quite good the update is great and very much uh, fluid and less lag no loading screen yet again and microsoft edge is the same nothing much updated uh, as they promised to be uh, updating in the next build after uh, after the earlier build but no update uh, let's hope uh, they are planning something new or they are planning something big for the update so let's just uh, end our review here quite a new uh, features uh, with the photos app and the one handed mode and also the store has been fixed and it's fast so it's quite good you can use it as a daily driver uh, it's almost uh, one, more than a day i've been using and the battery is slight weak in this other all else are good all else are great and you can easily use it, it as a daily driver so don't forget to like this video Uh, share share it among your friends if you have any queries or suggestions for us do write in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching this is sim reviews saying bye